there are three general sections to most nerve cells or neurons. First, there are the highly branched processes, known as dendrites, which project from the cell body, also known as the soma. Most neurons possess an especially long process, known as the axon, which conducts electrical impulses. This axon can then branch at its terminus into a number of synaptic knobs, also known as axon terminals or synaptic end bulbs. In most neurons, the dendrites are highly branched processes which allow a neuron to monitor a very large area for stimuli. The soma, or cell body, possesses the parts which a typical cell does, a nucleus, mitochondria. It is here that the DNA is located, that proteins are made, and many things are packaged into vesicles for transport. The axon is a very long process which conducts electrical messages. So when the brain communicates with the hand or you know, the leg communicates with the spinal cord, electrical messages must as pass a considerable distance. And this is the role of the axon to conduct this electrical impulse uh, over long distances in many cases. At the branch points of the axon, known as the synaptic knobs, this is where a neuron may touch a second cell. So a neuron may contact another neuron, a muscle cell, a gland cell. And at these synaptic knobs, chemical messengers, known as neurotransmitters, can be released, which then have an effect on the second cell.